Shri Krishna, the Divine Incarnate. Shri Krishna is the personification of Sachidanand, the omnipresent, eternally conscious, ever blissful form of the Supreme Brahman. The very mention of Krishna casts away all sorrows and one experiences bliss by simply visualizing his beautiful divine face. The eighth incarnation of Lord Vishnu, Krishna is the embodiment of love and knowledge, who taught selfless karma and gave a new direction to the society by establishing righteous dharma. Shri Krishna was born at midnight on Ashtami or the eighth day of Krishna Paksha in the month of Bhadrapad in the prison of his uncle Kansa in Mathura. This was the birth of his earthly form where he was born as a human along with all his divine powers. However, we can also experience his formless divine form within ourselves. As per Maharishi Patanjali's Ashtang Yoga, the eighth component of spiritual practice is Samadhi. Krishna was also the eighth child of Devaki. When one attains this eighth step of self-realization, one can experience the Supreme Consciousness, also referred to as Krishna Consciousness. This is the moment when Krishna is born within us and indicates ultimate liberation. In reality, the very thought of Krishna invokes a feeling of bliss. A deep sense of peace calms our mind and clears all our confusions in life. An ardent Krishna devotee always wishes that true love for Krishna should blossom within one's self and that one gets completely immersed in his devotion. The festival of Krishna Janmashtami is celebrated in different ways in India. Though the festival is celebrated across the entire world, yet the celebrations in the two cities of Uttar Pradesh, Mathura, known as the birthplace of Krishna, and Vrindavan, where he spent his childhood, are unmatched and incomparable in joy and vigor. On this auspicious day, all Krishna temples are decorated with garlands, balloons and colorful lights and devotees throng the temples at midnight to offer their prayers to the Lord and to end their fast. Ras Leela, a folk dance drama is performed. The idols of Krishna are anointed with milk, honey, curd, ghee and water, then dressed in new clothes and decorated with ornaments. The infant Krishna is gently swung in a cradle, accompanied with devotional music known as Bhajan Kirtan. In Tamil Nadu, people make kolam or rangoli on the ground using rice flour. They draw footprints of Krishna at the main entrance of the house to invite the divine. In Andhra Pradesh, boys dress up as Krishna and move around meeting people. Dahi Handi is primarily celebrated in the state of Maharashtra. In Gujarat, it is Garba, a colorful traditional Gujarati folk dance, recital of devotional songs and Ras Leela performances. In Odisha and West Bengal, it is celebrated as Shri Krishna Jayanti or Shri Jayanti, 
where the tenth chapter of the Bhagwat Puran is recited, followed by Nanda Utsav, the joyous celebration of Krishna's foster parents the next morning. In childhood, little Krishna along with his friends used to eat makhan or butter, scooping it out from the hanging pots at the houses of village women or gopis. To depict this, nowadays Govinda Toli, a group of young boys form pyramidical formations to enact the same leela and compete to get the curd and makhan kept in the pot. Makhan Mishri was Krishna's favorite food. Therefore, Makhan Mishri is offered on Janamashtami, which is a symbol of love for the Lord. Incidentally, Makhan Mishri stimulates the physical, mental and intellectual development of children. Shri Krishna was fond of delicious food. Hence, devotees end their fast only after offering Chappan Bhog, a platter that includes 56 different food items to the Lord. It is believed that Mother Yashoda used to feed Krishna a sweet called Panjiri, made from coriander powder, to avoid any harm to his health because of eating too much Makhan Mishri. Therefore, on the day of Janmashtami, coriander powdered Panjiri is offered to the Lord. According to Ayurveda, coriander powder balances all the three doshas, Vat, Pit and Kaf, and also increases immunity. The life of Lord Krishna teaches us that human beings are full of infinite possibilities, and devotion to Lord Krishna reveals those possibilities within us. Hence, we repeatedly bow to such a Lord addressed by devotees with different names such as Murli Manohar, Kanhaya, Gopal and Govind.